We have preliminary charges at this stage, though the investigations have been completed, but um, <laughs> there are still some outstanding investigative aspects that we need to finalize. But currently is facing two counts, one of um, threatening to engage in terrorist activities. That relates to several emails that he had forwarded from various internet cafes in Joburg and Pretoria to the UK authorities, um, threatening to cause an outbreak of food and mouth poisoning disease infecting all livestock in the UK. And when he did not um, get a response to that uh, earlier threat, he escalated it to include the United States as well. We have not been able to establish a motive, but implications are that he is fighting a cause of the farmers in Zimbabwe that uh, were allegedly uh, dispossessed of their farms and all that. He feels that the UK authorities and the USA did not do really enough to salvage that situation. Does he have the capability to carry out that threat? Um, the indications are that he doesn't have that capability. That's why we have uh, included an alternative count of fraud because he is represented to those authorities that he has their capacity to carry out that uh, operation when in fact he did not. Did you guys take it as a serious threat? We are taking it as a serious threat because the task team that's investigating the matter, the Scotland Yard, the FBI, the Hawks and the, investigate, the National Prosecuting Authority to bring in the prosecutorial aspect of the world security events. So indeed, it is a serious threat uh, because it's an international crime. And if you look at the act itself, a terrorism act, it uh, is likely in the event of a conviction to be sentenced to life in respect of uh, first count, which is threatening to engage in terrorism. Have you said there's no precedent for a case like this of attempted... Look, the manner in which the offence was allegedly committed, it's, it's very unique, it's the first of its kind. But obviously, contravention of the Terrorism Act, it's not uh, the first of its kind. We've got the Henry Walker case, we've got other cases. Advocate, can you say who he directly contacted in the US and UK? Which agencies did he try to make contact with? Look, he tried to contact the Department of Environment and Food, it's called uh, DEFRA in the UK. There are other authorities in the United States, but that's part of an investigative process and that's a potential matter that at this stage I can't go into details. You